I bought one of these things so you don't have to. Let's check it out. This is a Nerd Miner V2. It cost me 30 bucks and it's currently the worst Bitcoin miner that I own. Now you may have seen these advertised on YouTube where the guy says, this is a golden nugget and it can win you three Bitcoins every 10 minutes. Uh, he's wrong, it never will. And I'll explain why here in just a second. But let's plug this thing in just to make sure it even works because who knows if it will or not. And if it does, we'll talk about it. Okay, so there was some assembly required. So I put this little case on, so that's all done. Uh, there are these wires here, but I have no idea what these go to. Uh, there's no instruction manual or anything like that. And I don't know what's gonna happen when I plug this into my computer because it's USB. And so maybe it's gonna infect my computer with malware or hold my hard drive hostage. I really don't know, but let's give it a try and see what happens here. Nothing. Wait, it's lighting up. It's doing stuff, oh my gosh. It's got a cool little color screen. That's kind of interesting. Oh, cool, Nerd Miner. So connect this Wi-Fi to set up. Okay, well, let's do that and see what happens. Okay, so this thing is connected to my node and it is mining away as we speak. And check this thing out. It's got a little, it's got a clock with a Bitcoin price. It's got all the stats right here and it's even got a bunch of crypto prices. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get back to that screen. Which are all in the red, of course, because crypto is all down right now. But this thing is actually pretty cool. I wanted to hate this thing, but I kind of like it. I, I really do. And let me explain why I wanted to hate it. Now, this thing is like an educational tool. It's for kids maybe to play with, or students in a classroom to learn about Bitcoin mining or electrical engineering or something. But people try to sell these things as some sort of get rich quick thing, and that I don't like. Like that video I was telling you about, or those videos on YouTube I was telling you about where the guy's like, this thing can win you three Bitcoins every 10 minutes. Uh, and he sells these things for a hundred bucks. I bought mine for 30, by the way, on amazon.com. He sells his for a hundred. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But lying to people like that or being intentionally misleading is scammy. And I don't like that. I just don't. I'm, I'm totally anti-scam. I'm anti-bamboozling and I'm anti-hustling. And that's what people are trying to do with these very inexpensive products that you could probably buy 10 of these things for 150 bucks would be my guess, maybe less. And if you're gonna sell them for 100 bucks a piece, you're making whatever, $850 profit every time you sell 10 of them. I don't, I just, the whole thing doesn't sit right with me. Uh, these things are cool to look at. Again, I'm really impressed with it as like a little device. It definitely does look cool. It's got its utility from the fact like, I would have spent $30 just on like a crypto price tracker. That makes sense. The fact that it happens to mine is a little bit of a bonus. Again, it's, it's kind of interesting from a novelty standpoint, uh, but it's pretty much useless, that functionality. And I'll explain why. So right now this thing is getting 1.02 mega hashes per second. Okay, just dropped a little bit to 980, 996 uh, kilo hashes. But let's just say on average, it's getting about one mega hash per second. If we go over to solochance.org and we type in one mega hash per second, we see that the chance per hour here of getting a Bitcoin block is one in 181 trillion. 181 trillion. That means I have a better chance of Satoshi Nakamoto jumping through this window right here and handing me a huge bag full of Bitcoins. And then Satoshi and I fly off into outer space like Superman. That's gonna happen long before this thing gets a Bitcoin block, let alone three Bitcoins every 10 minutes, okay? That's just the deal with this. Uh, it is never, ever gonna happen. One in 181 trillion chance, I have a better chance of turning into a Bitcoin myself than this thing getting me any Bitcoins or earning a Bitcoin block reward. It is never, ever, ever gonna happen. Not in a million years, not in a trillion years. It's not gonna happen. In fact, uh, it does say that the chance here is one in, <laughs> chance per year rather, is one in 21 billion. So if you break that down, that means it'll take 21 billion years. If you have this thing going for 21 billion years, it may actually do it at that point. You never know, it may actually get lucky and do it. But one of these things has never successfully found a Bitcoin block, it never will. Uh, that's not what they're for. And people who say that they are capable of that, they're lying to you and they're scamming you for evil capitalist profit, or whatever the case is, uh, it's not good. It's just, it's, it's not good at all. 
You can buy something like a Bidax Gamma, which is three times the price of this. It's about 100 bucks. This cost me about 35 shipped. For $100, I can buy a Bidax Gamma, and that thing has about 1.5 terahashes per second. So let's break that down. Now you see our chance per hour here is one in 181 trillion. With a Bidax Gamma, it is one in 121 million. Okay, so substantially better. So that means that this thing, or the Gamma rather, is like a million times, millions of times more powerful than this thing right here. Uh, and so you're better off spending 100 bucks and having a much better chance. Again, your chance per year with the Gamma is one in 14,000. Going back here, one, oh, I broke it. Uh, switching back to mega hash a second, again, you're, you're at one in 14 billion. So $35. You got a 1 in 14 billion chance of getting a Bitcoin block every year. Or you can just spend 100 bucks and you can get yourself a, uh, a Gamma and you have a 1 in 14,000 chance. I think I'd go the Gamma route. Cool. I was going to say, you know, don't buy these things at all. But the fact that it has the touch screen and the clock and some other stuff makes it worth probably the 30 bucks that you're paying for it. I don't feel like I was ripped off. I'm not going to throw this thing in the garbage or smash it with a hammer. Like I originally intended to when I made this video, I'm going to put it right on my desk and I'm gonna use it to monitor crypto prices because that aspect of this is pretty cool. Uh, but don't go buy one of these things thinking you're gonna mine some Bitcoins because you won't. This is, while it's technically mining right now, it's technically doing its thing, it's not doing a very good job. It's not working very hard at it. And there are so many other devices that really are, uh, you know, they put you at least within arm's reach potentially of maybe in your lifetime scoring a Bitcoin block. Not that solo mining is easy with any device that you use. In fact, I just made a couple of videos where I rented uh, 10 petahashes. So 10 petahashes were the power, and it took me 23 hours to solve a Bitcoin cash block. So pretty wild. Anyway, I kind of like it. Honestly, I, I do. I, it's it's kind of kind of cool. I'm a fan. I, it's kind of growing on me. Even in the short time that I've had it, I'm holding it in my hand and it's glowing. It's got little disco lights on the back. I don't know if you can see those with the, with the uh, ring light I use to make myself look young and vibrant. Uh, but just take my word for it. There's some cool light action going on here. So that's pretty much the deal. That's what you get if you buy a $30 miner. It's pretty cool. I like it. Buy your kids one. Good stocking stuffer, something like that. Good for the uh, Bitcoin enthusiast. If you know somebody who likes Bitcoin, you don't know what to buy, I'm buying one of these things. It's kind of fun. It took me about three minutes to set up, so that was very simple. Uh, not a lot to that. And again, they can watch the Bitcoin price on their little clock, or they can scroll up and they can check what the, uh, what the top crypto prices are for the day. And so that is pretty cool. That's all I got to say about this thing, folks. $30 miner, kind of cool. Worthless, but awesome. That's it in a nutshell. So thank you for watching this video as always and for your support of the channel. Subscribe to see more. I have some other devices that are gonna show up very soon that are far, far more powerful than this. And I am very excited to talk about those. So we will, uh, we will have that on the channel here soon. So make sure to annihilate and smash and punch the subscribe button so you can see my latest and greatest product reviews and other Bitcoin related shenanigans uh, because there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on all the time. We're making products, we're making trades, we're mining for stuff, we're renting hash power and solving Bitcoin blocks, all kinds of crazy stuff here in the Carpoos Mining Lab. So that's all I got folks. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.